Let's see what we end up with on our last game here before we get out of here and head into the weekend. And we are going to ride Texas Tech minus two against Houston. And this is a, a neutral sider. And, and honestly, I don't remember even where the game is being played. Do you remember? It's being played at Houston. Is it at being Houston? Played at, not at Houston. No, it's at, it's at the Texans Stadium. NRG. Yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah. Okay, okay. Texas Tech, again, two-point favorite here. Matt Wells needs good things to happen, right? And I also think that Dana Holgerson does as well. The quarterback tune for Houston has not been great over the last however many years, but he is now a veteran. He is rocking and rolling. And Houston, I mean, there are big expectations from them this season. The fact that they are an underdog to Texas Tech kind of surprised me a little bit with as bad as Texas Tech has been. But I'm, I'm going to tell you a matchup to look out for, okay? The Texas Tech wide receivers... All of them are like 6'3", 6'4", 6'5". They got a 6'6 dude out there. Like They are ridiculous. Tyler Shuck, the quarterback from Oregon last year, transferred in. He has won the starting job with the Red Raiders. I, I kind of like Texas Tech here because of the desperation mode. I'm, I have to see Houston actually play really well before I'm just – because I, I took the over on Houston – but I, I need to see it. I need to believe it because the last two years have been dreadful for them. Matt Wells has been in some games. He has lost some one-score games that that they had a real shot of winning, right? Texas last year in like triple overtime. They, they've been in some some tight games, and he really needs this one. Like I, I can go ahead and, and write his check that he is leaving if they lose this game and – and I think I'm going to ride with them. I'm riding with Texas Tech minus two in this spot. You can bet on a dead man walking. I will not. <laughs> I'm going to bet on Holgo. Okay. I'm going to bet on the better coach. I think they're the better football team. I think the wrong team is favored here. Yes, you're betting on a team that's desperate. And Houston's not desperate. True. True. You know who you know who brings the lady home for the bar? The guy that's not desperate. That's right? true. The guy that's got he walks confidence. in. Yeah. He walks in, he pounds his drink, and he walks out. Right. Well, that is something that uh, that Holgerson is known for. I mean, the skullet, no the gambling, the Red Bulls. The, hey, I'm I understand Red Bull and vodka. Like, let's go, Dana Holgerson. I think they're the better football team. I yeah, just, you might I be right. Do. You might be right. I, I know Texas Tech brought in a bunch of transfers. Like, they seem to shore up their defense a little bit. I I think I'm, they're trying. Yeah. I think they're trying a lot of things, but that's that's the mark of this team that's desperate. That's they got no choice. They got to throw everything they can at the wall and hope something sticks. Dana. It's taken him a while to get this football team into his image. True. Okay. We're now we're now at the point where this should be the best Dana team he's had so far. They they do have a lot of talent, a lot of skill talent. We'll see what that offense looks like. We'll see what that offense looks like. I, I don't think that Houston's defense is going to be able to stop Texas Tech a have bunch. You had a Dana Holgerson team that had great defense ever. No. And there, okay. there were a couple that's, at West Virginia that, that were okay. That's the, but that's not what he does. Okay. Hey, should should we be looking at the total here? Sixty four and a half? No, because there's a world where Texas Tech's offense sucks. Uh, you're not wrong. What what, is, what does their offense look like in the past? Now, just because Houston's defense is bad, man, is, this Texas Tech team has struggled to score in the past. And th- this is true. They they but almost no, always... I would not touch the total for that very reason. Now, there's a world where they combine score 85, okay? Yeah. That could happen. And, and we just blow this total so far out the water, it's not even funny. But if Texas Tech is bad, Houston you don't crush want them. that. Yeah. yeah. And, and you don't yeah, want if that Houston total. beats them by 45, then they're not going to run it up. They're just going to win the game and get out. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong about that. You are not wrong about that. All right. That is going to wrap up our pick them for the other games. Of course, go over and check out the SBR College Football Show with Chris and our buddy Sam. And you can always check out the Bet US College Football Show with myself and Parker and, and Kyle Hunter. Links are in the description for those. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.